G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Today I'm trying out a set of Moby Shear electric foot pairing secateurs on my little flock of Romney sheep. Now these promise to make what can be a difficult job super, super easy. The customers are a bit nervous. I don't know why. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty of content, links to reviewed products and more on timthompson.ag. Some of you will remember my electric secretaire review from a few weeks ago and the fact that I mentioned that one of the brands of secretaires could be converted to be turned into a set of foot shears for foot pairing. And there was a little bit of interest around that. Well, Moby Shear got in contact with me and it turns out they have a set of secateurs that also come with a foot pairing attachment for use with sheep flocks. Imagine a set of electric secateurs converted to be foot pairers with over 12 hours of battery life. That's what we've got here. Well, my, my, doesn't this look familiar? We've got some instructions. We've got some other stuff. We've got some business cards. And a signed card. Isn't that lovely? I'll have a read of that later on. Turns out anyone who buys Moby Shear products also gets a signed letter from the resellers. We've got a couple of Allen keys in case you do what I do with mine and lose the darn things. So that's nice. We've got, looks like a triple battery charger so you can charge all three batteries at the same time. Handy feature, I like that. We get three large lithium ion batteries, each with approximately four hour lifespan, but you know, with these tools, it depends how fast you are on the trigger. You get an oil, an oil container with oil already in it. How cool is that? And an adapter for Australia, an adapter plug for Australia. And I'm sure if you were to order these for another country, you would get the appropriate adapter plug there. Now, having a look at these, they're a very familiar looking set of secateurs, aren't they? Um, and they come set up, ready to go, with the foot pairing attachment already in place. Underneath the charger, and this is the nice surprise, you also get a set of secateur blades. So not only do you get a set of foot shears, but you're also getting a set of electric secateurs for the same price. Now that is a winner. This was literally the first sheep I tried these out on. And as you can see, I was a little bit nervous as I first started to use them. They are really fast and really powerful. And I didn't want to make a mistake, so I sort of bumbled around for a little bit until I got into the swing of things. The proportional control on these, it takes a while to get used to and it's a bit of a hair trigger, but for contractors who have to move fast, that's exactly what they want. It does allow fine trimming adjustment on the feet so that you can end up with flat and safe feet for the ewe. I like to keep the sheep standing in foot bath just after I've trimmed them for at least 15 to 30 seconds. So basically what I do is I just fill up the race with the sheep that I've trimmed until it's full and let the next lot through. I'm using zinc sulfate in the foot bath. So some people will debate the necessity to trim feet of sheep at all. Um, but the reality is, if you're stupid enough to run hard-footed sheep like these Romneys on really soft ground, you're going to end up trimming for welfare reasons. Because they just don't have, particularly in this paddock, the terrain that's going to naturally wear down the feet. And the job of trimming feet is labour intensive and very difficult with the traditional foot rot shears. These provide fast and once you're used to them quite controllable access to the feet of the sheep you do have to twist yourself around a little bit in some cases to get in 
a little bit more than you would have to with the traditional foot right shears but the time saving and the labour saving that these provide are just extraordinary. With the traditional foot rot shears, this job is quite labour intensive and difficult. But I must say, once you get used to them, and I tell you what, these are scary to use the first time they're in your hand. But once you get used to them, they're an eminently controllable, powerful device that makes an otherwise tricky job incredibly easy, apart from the sheep. And you don't always have a crush on hand. So these guys are easy to use with a sheep on its back as well. With small sheep, I'd possibly say that this is even easier than using a crush. It's all very well to be able to say that you can use these hoof shears in the shearing shed just throwing the animal on its back but uh, for my measure there is nothing better than a tipping crush if you're handling sheep and once I started to get into the rhythm of using these new foot pairing shears I tell you what there's no going back it made the job super easy and super quick. Now say what you like about goats, but trimming their feet is one of my least liked jobs, particularly with the old set of shears that I used to use. These goats need their feet trimmed down quite regularly because they're an animal, once again, that's evolved in really rocky areas and they don't like their feet being touched. But as you can see, we've got very excessive toenail growth and we need to trim that right down. So much like the sheep's foot, you start at the back, but unlike the sheep's foot, you actually cut into the pad of the foot a little bit as well. It's made of gelatin. You've got to be careful not to cut in too deep, and you can actually get clues by looking at the growth rings on the hoofs themselves. And these growth rings match up with the hairline of the animal as well. So you've got two points of reference for making a nice straight cut. You can see that these hooves are quite pointed. And what we're going to do is we're going to flatten them off along the growth rings. So we're going to start at the back, and to do this you need to secure the foot really carefully because she will jerk about a bit. So I approach this a bit like a horse farrier, put the foot between my legs, start at the back and trim towards the front. Now you've got to have quite strong wrists and use quite a bit of force and if you're doing a number of goats, I know that there are people who rely on angle grinders for this job, um, but that creates a lot of dust, creates a lot of noise it puts heat into the hoof and I'm, I'm not 100% convinced that an angle grinder with a sanding pad is necessarily the best option for trimming goat's feet. So let's try these. Once again, same foot. Start at the back. And the one thing I will point out is that you have to be quite sure of where you're cutting before you commit because they are quite fast but I'm able to be cutting out just a little bit of seedy toe that was developing in this animal super easy and they're making they're making what would normally be a difficult job into something that's just bread and butter Interestingly enough, because I'm not having to force the shears through the foot, I'm actually making less mistakes and drawing less blood than I normally would if I was using the set of hand shears. Bit of a post foot trimming treat, they're having a brush of their hair. Here's Doris, you've put on a bit of weight over COVID, haven't you? Hey? Now as can happen sometimes, I did nick one pad on one foot. And in those cases, always have a little bit of antibacterial spray ready. Just give her a little bit of a touch up. It's like you when you nick the quick when you're doing your nails. It's no worse than that. 
Now I might have mentioned that these are basically secateurs. They come with a set of secateur blades and uh, I took them back into the shed, threw the secateur blades on and you might be surprised at the application that these have for animals. Uh, yeah, apologies, I got distracted with some fruit trees. These are awesome little secateurs and probably the most powerful I've ever tried. Anyway, back to animals. Now you might think secateurs aren't much use for animals, but actually, if you want to tip horns, these are a fantastic tool for that. Once again, what can be a bit of a traumatic operation for the animal, becomes a lot less stressful. Having the right equipment and having a powerful, fast tool like this has actually made welfare jobs that I don't really look forward to on the farm a whole lot easier, safer, and less labour intensive for me, less scary and painful for the animals involved because the job's over so much quicker. These are a really good piece of kit and I reckon they'd do well on just about any farm. Guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty more content and reviewed products on timthompson.ag. Guys, until next week, take care. And hey guys, next week we get to spend some time with Dr. Eloise Dean, an expert veterinarian, as she talks to us more about animal foot health, how to look after it, and what you should be doing. Make sure you check in next week.